Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am awake and it's like 10.30 right now, I think. So everybody is asleep, including my husband because he has to wake up bright and early in the morning and my kiddos are sleeping. So it's just me awake, but I did not get my nighttime routine done tonight because we were actually out like all evening together. And then we got home, had to do Luke's homework, and we just, I just didn't really wanna take the time tonight. I just wanted to like relax with my husband for a little bit. And once he went to bed, I actually edited a little bit of a video and now I'm going to go ahead and kind of clean the house so that I can wake up and everything is good in the morning. So I figured I would just go ahead and take you guys along with me since I was already cleaning anyway. All right, so I'm super tired, but I need to get this done, so time to put my hair up and get things done. And hopefully you guys can have some cleaning motivation after watching this. So the first thing I needed to take care of this night was the kitchen. So I just wanted to go ahead and get everything cleared off the counters. Next was the dishes and I needed to get everything from the sink into the dishwasher. We actually had to run our dishwasher twice today because I did some meal prepping earlier in the day, so I had a full load to do this evening. And I always love running my dishwasher at night because then in the morning when I wake up, it's ready to be emptied out and I can just start the day fresh with an empty dishwasher. And once the dishwasher was all loaded up and started, I just needed to hand wash a few dishes. So once or twice a week, I will actually clean off the tray that holds all of my dish soap and my scrubber. And I noticed that it was just looking a little bit dirty tonight, so I went ahead and emptied everything out and cleaned it up. If you watch my cleaning videos, you know that I clean out my sink every single time I have dishes in there. I just feel like otherwise it gets so grimy and dirty, so I definitely clean this out at least twice a day. And I am just using the Mrs. Meyers peppermint scent. This is probably my last time I'm going to be using this stuff because I finally am about out. So I'm super bummed out that I'm all out of it because it was a seasonal scent around Christmas time, but I am looking forward to using the new soap that I have been waiting to use. And then to finish up with my sink, I just add a few drops of essential oil into it and it makes it smell so, so good. Next, I just wanted to get my little soap station put back and I get a lot of questions about this little dish. I believe it's called a bubble up dish. I get it from Grove Collaborative and I love it because it works really well to scrub all my dishes. And also I feel like it saves a lot of soap because I'm not constantly having to use my soap so it really makes it last a little bit longer. And I do get that along with most of my other cleaning products from Grove Collaborative. I've talked about them a lot before but I really love their natural products that they have. And as usual, I do have a link down below for their website. And if you click on that link, you will go ahead and get several free cleaning products with your first order. So definitely check that out if you're interested in trying out Grove and get yourself a few little goodies. After putting all of the dried dishes away, I just needed to wipe down everything from our counters. 
and I recently grabbed this cloth from the Dollar Tree. I think it's actually meant for cars, but it's just a little chamois and it seems to work really, really well. I felt it at the store and thought this could definitely work for cleaning and I'm just cutting them in half because they're really big, but I get them from the Dollar Tree and they work really, really well. So I just ran out of my cleaner and I'm not really able to get much more out of it So I have to make more but I figured I would go ahead and show you guys how I do it So I get this sea salt neroli that is a scent but I get this caldrea like all-purpose cleaner and this is actually the first bottle I've ever gotten of this I got this back in like September or October and this is how much I've used and I've used it like a ton but all I'm gonna do is just add in like one, about one tablespoon and then just fill up the rest with water and that's it. It works so good and I wish you guys could smell it. <sighs> it smells so good. So to make the Caldre Concentrate Cleaner that I always use, I will just add about a tablespoon and I don't really measure it anymore. And then I just fill the rest up with water and shake and it is good to go. And I love this stuff. It cleans so well and you guys, it smells amazing. So this is definitely not by any means a deep cleaning video, but I did just want to go ahead and wipe down our stove because after dinner, I pretty much always need to wipe it down. I feel like things are always dropping on the stove no matter how careful you try to be. It's just something that has to happen. And another thing I have to clean multiple times a day is these bar stools. I feel like they always have sticky stuff on them from fruit or from something, I don't know, but they always are dirty and I'm always constantly having to wipe them down. And I actually got these bar stools second hand, so I was really excited when I got them. They are really sturdy chairs, but they have a few scratches on them. And my thought whenever I bought them was that I'm going to paint them white to match our cabinets, and then I'm actually going to paint the seats of them gray to match our island. And I figured that would really tie in well with our kitchen, and I'm planning to do that pretty soon, so let me know if you guys are interested in seeing a video on that. Next, I just needed to do a quick wipe down on my appliances. And as usual, I'm using the E-Cloth glass and polishing cloth. I love E-Cloths, they are amazing. And seriously, nothing will clean your appliances better. All you do is just wipe them down with a wet rag with water and then just wipe them off with the E-Cloth and it works amazing. And I actually reached out to E-Cloth earlier this week to ask if they were interested in sharing a coupon code with you guys. And they offered me a code for 10% off for an order of $20 or more. So I will leave that link and coupon down below. Definitely check it out if you are interested. They have amazing products. to our living room as you can tell the boys were playing dress up so I just needed to pick up a few of those things and of course put my throw pillows on the couch because where else would they be other than the floor <laughs> if you watched my video from a while ago I actually have been talking about getting new throw pillows forever and I finally found them so stay tuned because next week I'm going to be sharing a summer clean and decorate with me it is going to be a lot of fun and this is not something that I usually do, this is something I always have my boys do, is just go ahead and take all their toys upstairs and clean up the toy room. But I decided to just get it done and clean for them as kind of a little bit of a surprise and just something that they won't have to do tomorrow. But getting up to the toy room, I realized I had a little bit more on my hands because they were playing with Legos this afternoon and yeah. As you know, if your kids have Legos, they get everywhere. So it was quite the task trying to clean up all of their Legos.
And finally, after all the Legos were cleaned up, I just needed to sort out the rest of the toys from the toy bin. And my boys are constantly taking the toys downstairs. I wish they would just play with them up in the playroom, but they definitely all end up downstairs. But having this toy bin down at the bottom of our stairs really helps keep the rest of the house pretty clean so that all of their toys are not constantly sprawled across our entire main living area. Heading back downstairs, the last thing I needed to do was just go ahead and sweep and mop everything. Now usually I would just use my cordless vacuum and vacuum everything up, but because it was so late, I really just did not want to risk waking up anybody, so I decided to go ahead and sweep. And we do have this super handy central vacuum system in our house, which makes it really nice and easy when I do decide to sweep. So the last thing on my list was to go ahead and mop the floors. And last week at the store, I just picked up this hardwood floor and more mop from O Cedar. And I've been really impressed with it. And you can actually dry mop your floors with it, or you can just kind of dampen the cloth a little bit and do a quick run through. And that's exactly what I'm going to do with it. So as usual, I am adding a little bit of essential oil onto the mop so that it can kind of smell up the room as I go. I have just been so impressed ever since trying this out. I'm loving this. It definitely doesn't work as well as a steam mop, of course, but for just doing like every other day or something, it kind of keeps our floors a little bit cleaner and it's definitely a lot more convenient. So I'm really excited to have this option. And then whenever you're done with the pad, you just take it off and toss it into the wash and it is reusable. So I definitely recommend this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you got some cleaning motivation from it. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you are not already and definitely follow me over on Instagram as well and I will see you in my next one.